Hello my sweetie cutie and lovely math lovers. Welcome back again. This is a very common and well known mathematical formula that is being used in almost all mathematical calculation in high school level algebra. But have you ever been thought where is the origin of this mathematical formula? Where does it come from? What is the birthplace of this mathematical formula? Why do we write a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square? Why? Have you ever been thought that? Well, in this video, I will show you the origin or birthplace of this formula and I believe you will be impressed by my explanation. Before going to the main calculation, let me show you what exactly does it mean by the square. A square means a confined area that is covered by four arm or four side length and length of each side length is exactly equal to the next side length that means length of this side that that and that they are same in that case this confined area is called a square this is the in general definition of a square so if we consider the square of a numerical number what does it means let us consider 3 square. What is the physical meaning of 3 square? The physical meaning of 3 square mean 3 will be multiplied by itself 2 times. That means 1 times 3 multiplied by another time 3 which is called 3 square. Okay, let me uh, tell what is the physical meaning of a plus b whole square. a plus b whole square means same explanation as I give you here. That means a plus b will be multiplied by itself two times. Means um, means a plus b one multiplied by again a plus b. This part is called a plus b whole square. But I think it doesn't make sense. Where does it, this formula come from? To explain the origin of this formula, let me draw a square shape. This is a square shape and let us consider the side length of this square. This side length is a plus b. That means this side length also will be here to here which is a plus b. Right. Out of this side length, let us uh, subdivide this side length into two parts. a plus b means this part let's say here to here this this point to that point this is a and from this point to that point remaining part is b similarly we can say this is a means this length to until that length is a and from here to here is b this is subdivision of this a plus b total length now if we uh, draw a straight line throughout this direction here and that direction here and these two straight line subdivided this entire large square into four different area out of this four different area this is one large square this is a rectangle this is another rectangle and this is a small square notice here the side length of this small um, square is a that means from here to here is a and other side length from this point to that point is also a that means if we consider the surface area of this square the surface area of this, this square will be a square that means this side length multiplied by this side length a multiplied by a a square let us consider this rectangle what is the surface area of this rectangle we need two parameters side length of this which is b side length of here to here look at here this side length is exactly same as this side length that means this is a which will be equal to a here as well that means a multiplied by b a b is the surface area of this rectangle by the same way surface area of this rectangle will be side length of this which is b and side le side length of that which is exactly a that means a multiplied by b a b which is the surface area of this rectangle same way surface area of this square 
side length of this area is b because this is exactly same as that and side length of this is also b because this is exactly same as that which is b that means b multiplied by b is b square is the surface area of this small square now interesting part is coming we can do a summation of this surface area that rectangle surface area that and that if you consider the summation of these four different surface area it will give the total surface area of this square let me do it through the mathematical calculation side length of this length is a plus b and side length of this length is a plus b as well which is equal to total area of this square and this total area is summation of one two three and four surface area right the surface area of this first part is a square and then surface area of this rectangle is a b and then plus summation of this rectangle is a b and summation of this square is b square right we can make a simpli simplification of this mathematical equation a plus b multiplied by a plus b which is equals to a plus b whole square that means total surface area of this square is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 1ab plus another ab is equal to 2ab plus remaining is b square now this is the origin of this mathematical formula now you understand what does it come from well tell me honestly really did you know this mathematical formula is related to, with this explanation really did you know it if you are honest just tell it in the comment section if you are new here i inspire you to subscribe this channel it will help me a lot believe me math is totally simple way of logic nothing else if you know the logic if you know the tricks if you know the math tricks math it math is so simple there is nothing to fear about math math is really an interesting branch of science if you know the correct way to solve a problem math is super interesting i try to make math interesting to other people so that people will feel okay this is the interesting branch of science many people fear about mathematics so if you enjoy my videos i would like to request you to subscribe my channel it will help me a lot thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye